The fifth generation Volkswagen Caddy has landed in Australia and once again it's being offered in seven seat people mover form. Let's take a closer look. The fifth generation Volkswagen Caddy arrives in Australia offering familiar trade versions as well as the seven seat Caddy people mover driven here. Early in 2022, the range will be topped by the Caddy California Camper. The seven seat Caddy people mover is based on Volkswagen's longer Caddy Maxi and starts at $45,490 plus on road costs. Key rivals include the all new Kia Carnival, which starts at around the same money. The fifth generation Caddy looks a little bit more edgy than before with more defined lines and a redesigned front and rear. This particular test car is pretty unmissable. It's finished in a colour they call golden green. All Caddy variants are fitted standard with halogen headlights, though LED headlights are optional. Our Caddy rides on 16 inch wheels with a full size spare. Underneath, the Caddy moves to Volkswagen's MQB passenger vehicle platform for the first time in a move designed to offer more car-like on-road manners. You get a McPherson strut front axle and a solid pan hard rod rear axle with trailing arm. Leaf rear springs from the predecessor Caddy are replaced by coils for 2021. Moving to under the bonnet, here we're driving the TDI 320 a two litre turbo diesel four cylinder engine that's good for 90 kilowatts and 320 newton metres. Fuel use is listed at a frugal 4.9 litres per 100 k's. The TDI 320 shuffles drive to the front wheels via a seven speed dual clutch automatic or DSG transmission. Now if there's one inherent benefit to using a trade van as your origins, it has to be the interior and I say that because the Caddy People Mover offers all kinds of storage, be it in front of the dashboard, overhead, the deep door pockets, or just the open user-friendly cubbies as well. It's a really considered place, and while there are some harder contact points, it's pretty comfortable as well. Everything feels well presented and offers a hard-wearing premise, while the driver sits nicely inside the cabin thanks to a low-slung seat. The Caddy takes on the latest MIB infotainment system from the Volkswagen Group and if it looks familiar that's because it's recently been rolled out in other models including the Mark 8 Golf. Basically it takes away from a lot of the traditional hardwired switch gear that you'd find on the dashboard centre fascia and bundles them into the screen itself. You've got straightforward buttons that allow you to go through to the climate interface, through the driver safety assist systems and it means that while you're driving, you don't have to wade through numerous touchscreen menus to get to basic functions like recirculated air. The system works pretty well and I found it fairly easy to get up to speed with. The standard 8.25 inch screen integrates Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and is matched by two USB-C ports up front and two in the second row. The Caddy's move to MQB architecture has also enabled new safety technology systems. However, not all those are fitted standard. Adaptive cruise control and lane assist are optional and our vehicle also missed out on speed assist. All occupants are offered airbag coverage. The second and third rows are easily accessed thanks to sliding doors and massive door apertures. You can also fold, double fold or completely remove the second and third row seats which is quite convenient. Rear air vents and folding trays in the second row bolster the people mover's everyday amenity. But one thing that cannot be overlooked is the fact the rear windows are sealed. Arguably the biggest boon here is the fitment of ISOFIX attachment points in the second row outbound seats and the third row seats, plus top tether points across both rows. Finally, the boot area offers enough space for a couple of full-size suitcases with the third row of seating in place. Though we're not sure how you'd go fitting all of the family's luggage back there. The Caddy offers decent road manners with reactive steering and faithful levels of body control. More than anything though, it feels approachable and user friendly. For a seven seat people mover, it's quite light, it's quite nimble, and it's easy to come to terms with for spatial awareness. 
The diesel powertrain offers smooth passage across the rev range, finding peak torque from just 1500 RPM. The diesel is prone to a signature hesitation upon taking off, a virtue of the dual clutch automatic gearbox, but otherwise feels competent across cruising and highway speeds alike. On test, we finished with a fuel use average that was just above the claim. The Caddy tracks faithfully through corners and also feels composed through changes in direction and over different undulations alike. Ultimately, the rigid rear axle probably isn't as composed or controlled as a more modern multi-link rear. For that reason, you do get the occasional thudding or crashing through the chassis and mid-corner bumps it doesn't quite feel as poised and finessed as more modern setups. But all in all, it works quite well. It's a car that's easy to get to grips with and it's confidence inspiring as well, especially for a seven seat people mover. There's a little bit of road noise rumbling through the cabin and quite a lot of wind noise as well. So on a B grade country road, it's a little bit noisier in the cabin than what some people might like. We can't speak for how the Caddy performs with seven people on board, but with four adults, it manages to uphold its control and poise with a planted stance on the open road and decent, but not leading refinement. The Caddy is matched by Volkswagen's five-year unlimited kilometre warranty, one-year roadside assist and the offer of prepaid care plan servicing, which amounts to $1,300 for five years or 75,000 kilometres. Put those elements together and the Caddy makes a compelling argument as an entry-level seven-seat people mover. Proof once again that VW's smallest commercial is much more than just a tradies van.